Hello everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today I will be talking to Philadelphia Eagles official schedule release and why I believe the Eagles will go at least eleven and five. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. Um so salute to the earlier I guess you could say leak schedule I put out well yesterday. Um it was accurate. It was accurate, um it was correct and Salute to the NFL. They gave us five primetime games. At the last year, I believe we had like three or two. We didn't have many much primetime games. We did see us on Sunday night. Seen us on Monday night, what, well, rarely, probably one time. But you get five of those. So you, you get Minnesota primetime. You get Dallas primetime. You get Washington primetime. You get Green Bay primetime. So... They looking at us like, man, these dudes are entertaining. These dudes are entertaining. Um, Jalen Hurts, he sell tickets. A lot of people want to see Jalen Hurts play this year. It's either you want to see him fail or you really want to see him succeed this year. There's no in between. Jalen Hurts is just that guy, man. Y'all just going to have to accept that he's that guy. Love him or hate him. I think he's going to be around for a very long time. And it's going to always be a division in the fan base we did the same thing with Carson Wentz we're going to do the same thing with Jalen Hurts to me with Jalen Hurts is worse but you might call me a Jalen Hurts apologist possibly I don't think I am because I wanted Carson Wentz to stay but Jalen Hurts is the quarterback and I see the leadership and tangibles he have I'm like this team can really build off that but now let's get back into the into the topic why well, I believe the Eagles will go 11 and 5. So let's start with the first game Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions, we got to beat them. I know a lot of people saying that could be a trap game, but that game, you have to win. Minnesota. Minnesota, I believe we are 2 0 from there. I think we are 2 0. Um, Minnesota, we. They play us at our home. I think Justin Jefferson is going to have a good game. But I don't think that game will be enough for him to beat us. I think Kirk Cousins is really not good in primetime games. That's what's going to help us a lot. He chokes a lot. Whereas though, I think Jalen Hurst take his game to another level during primetime games. Now, Washington. Washington will be home. We did sweep them last year. Uh, Carson Wentz is going to try to come out hot. I think Washington might beat us. I think we split with Washington. We split with the Dallas Cowboys. And we sweep the Giants. I think that's how it's going to go. Jaguars. So what I got us 2-1 on one. Jaguars. I think we win that game. It's going to be a very entertaining game to watch. I'm thinking about going to that game. Doug Peterson. Eagles. Jalen Hurts. Doug Peterson. Uh, it's going to be just fun to watch, but I don't think the Jaguars just ready. I honestly think Doug Peterson don't know what he got himself into, but we will see. Arizona, a game to watch. The reason why is Zach Gertz. Uh, we go to his ho- new home now. He's going to try to have that game. And he's going to show or try to show, look, man, you guys made a mistake trading me. And y'all should have kept me, found the way to keep me. Because I'm better than Dallas Goddard. I think he's going to try to have one of those games. But they're going to need that extra help from D-Hop. And D-Hop is not going to be there because he's going to be suspended. Now, if they had D-Hop, maybe they win. But I don't see it. So, right now, I got this one in two games. We lose to Washington. We beat the Jaguars. Beat the Cardinals. And I think the home game against the Dallas Cowboys where we win. We got the bye week. So out of this, we're coming out, what, five, five or one before the bye week. Got the Steelers. I think the Steelers are sort of rebuilding. I think that's a win. Um, Texas, that's a win. Then uh, Carson Wentz come to Philly. We knock them off. The pressure is going to be too much. Don't be surprised if we sweep Washington, though. But that pressure will be too much. The booze and stuff will get to them. 
that don't usually fuel him, and we're going to win that game. Colts, Colts is a toss up. I think we possibly lose. So that's two games we lost. Uh, Green Bay, tough game. We might go on a mini losing streak. So we lose that. We come back home, Tennessee, beat them. We knock off the Giants. We knock off the Bears. Then after that, we go to Dallas. It's going to be Christmas Eve. I really hope we sweep them too. That's just me talking as an Eagles fan, but they might beat us on Christmas Eve. That might suck. It is what it is. We go home and we beat the Saints and we beat the Giants. We just might split with the Giants. I know one of these teams we're going to sweep. The reason why we might split with the Giants is I think the last game is not going to mean anything. And we might do the same thing as last year or just play our starters the first half and just give the Giants the game. So I believe we should have a very good record. A very, very, very good record. Um. Now, some of the teams I won't be surprised that I say we will win. Like, I won't be surprised if the Vikings beat us or if the Cardinals beat us. But I think we still have enough games where we can win 11 games, more than 10 games, and still win the division. I believe that wholeheartedly. But this team is going to be very fun to watch. That's the reason why we get five primetime games. That's the reason why they want to watch us play Aaron Rodgers. But definitely, it's definitely going to be fun to watch this team. Uh, hey, man, what do you think? How do you feel? Am I delusional for thinking we are going 11 and 5? And Jalen Hurts, he sell tickets. He sell tickets. We get five primetime games. But this is Al Cabana Analyst. Ghost.